What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Brent and today I am bringing you five reasons why the Godox DP603 should be your first flash. I have the beautiful Andrea with me today as my assistant. We're excited to get into this content. Let's hop right in. So the first reason that I would recommend the Godox DP603 is that it is a 600 watt light. And why is this important? So we've talked in our past videos that we really want to be cutting out all of the ambient light in our space. So I'm gonna take a shot here with my flash off. And what you will see is nothing but a black screen. This is where a 600 watt light becomes very important. So now I'm going to turn on my light. My settings are currently aperture F8, ISO 100, and I will be shooting at a shutter speed of 1 to 50th. I have paired my light with the Westcott 7 inch silver umbrella with diffusion. So I'm gonna take a shot now, and we are indeed metered to F8. Three, two. I'm gonna do five shots. Three, two. Three, two, three, two, two more, three, two, three, two. So as you can see, having 600 watts really allows you to cut all of your ambient and use your light as your paintbrush for that blank canvas. So the second reason is actually going to be the build quality of this light. This is a very solid light made out of full metal. And one of the really key features that made me really invest into this light was the umbrella mount. I do own the 8600 Pro and I constantly use umbrellas as my modifier. And I also own the 8400 Pro. And the first 8400 Pro that I had, this umbrella mount literally exploded on me as I tried to put my umbrella in. It's just too tight, it doesn't work. So I actually never put my umbrella modifiers on this light, rendering it pretty much useless for me. So the build quality on this light is excellent. You will have no problems out of the umbrella mount and also the Bowens is super solid. Reason number three is gonna be the price. For one Godox DP603, it's gonna be $299. And actually the motivation for this video, on Amazon right now, they have a two light bundle that comes with about eight modifiers for $664. And you know how much we love our two light setups on this channel. We are gonna show a few demonstrations of what you can do with two lights as we have two DP600 set up and we'll be using some cross lighting here. So every time I snap, Andrea, I just want you to give me something a little different. Three, two, three, two. Nice, three, two. Let's do a few where you're not actually looking at me. Three, two, nice. Three, two, three, two. Let's do a couple where you're kind of facing this light. All right, three, two. And last one, three, two. Perfect. So as you can see, a lot of photographers want to start off with two lights when they hop into the studio. A lot of videos on YouTube are geared towards two light setups and it also allows you to have a lot more control over what you have going on. And this is a way to get into that ecosystem without breaking the bank. The fourth reason is gonna be for the LED modeling lamp. It is going to be a 30 watt daylight modeling lamp in comparison to like the 8600 BM that has those yellow big bulb modeling lamps. And this is good for two reasons. Number one, it's gonna help you to get that catch light in your subject's eye as we've talked about before, but also in a pinch, you can indeed use this for video production as well. I have done so probably 20 or 30 times, and it's going to mimic something very close to those 60 watt lights that you all are getting from the smaller brands. So utilizing this modeling lamp and knowing that it's gonna be balanced to daylight is gonna be great for if you're having to shoot photo and video and needing to get some focus. Reason number five is very simple. It's going to be for the LED illuminated back screen. This is amazing for whenever I'm trying to sync up my lights, I'm trying to do my metering, and I need to see what group or channel my light is on from halfway across the studio. This is better in comparison to the 8600 Pro, which is always bad, especially at certain angles and when the light is hitting it. This, to me, is one of the best features of this light for helping us to move fast across set. Bonus reason number six is that this is an AC powered unit. So for example, if you were to purchase the 8600 Pro for $900 and then you wanted to purchase the AC unit on the back of it, that will cost you another 120. So now you're over $1,000 in the hole just to go and get this exact same light. And any of you who have worked with battery powered strobes, you will know that if you get to snapping off a little bit too much, that battery is gonna die. 
You don't have to worry about that here. You can leave the modeling lamp on as long as you want because this bad boy is running straight to the feed. All right, everyone, that's gonna do it for another video. This was five different reasons why I would suggest you purchase the Godox DP603V. I wanna give a special shout out to Andrea for pulling up today. Andrea, where can they find you? Y'all can find me at my Instagram at Andrea Loves with two S's at the end. I'm gonna put it down here just so you can spell it correctly. <laughs> Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and we will catch you all in the next video. Yeah, you got it, you got it. I'm gonna mess up my own Instagram. <laughs> Come on now. It happens. It happens. Okay, okay. It happens. <laughs> can you hear me? Okay. Yes, I can hear you. <laughs> yeah, where'd you find her, yo? Bro. <laughs> I want to give a special thank you to Andrea for pulling up today. Andrea, where can they find you? Y'all can find me at my... <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs>